video I will be tearing apart this Briggs pressure washer motor that was ran without oil so without further ado let's get into the time lapse first we're going to remove the air box cover and remove the air filter next we're going to remove the four screws that hold on the air box assembly to the carburetor. There's two different types of screws on these motors. One are machine thread and the other are plastic thread. Um, these two that I'm taking out now are the seven millimeter plastic thread screws. And now we will remove the carburetor by pulling on it and we will unhook the fuel line by twisting it back and forth and then twist the carburetor off of the linkages. Careful not to bend them. Next we're going to remove the valve cover which will give access to the valves and um, we're also going to remove the four 10 millimeter uh, head bolts that way we can remove the piston out of this motor which has a broken connecting rod due to lack of lubrication um, this was a brand new uh, motor that was on a pressure washer that I bought from a big box store as you see there I was able to push the piston down with a screwdriver and that should never happen without the flywheel rotating so we're going to remove the uh, oil pan now or sump cover whatever you all want to call it and right away there are broken pieces of connecting rod in there and we're going to remove the governor slash oil slinger and now we're going to remove the camshaft which is not plastic it's a high temperature nylon and now we're going to knock the piston out this was very tricky um, to get this piston out because usually the connecting rods aren't broken in motors but as you see I was able to get the piston out with a screwdriver and a hammer it was really stuck in there because this motor was run without oil and someone put oil in it after the fact but as you see all the scoring and the way that the connecting rod broke told me that this motor was run without oil because the crankshaft journal there was a lot of aluminum transfer on it and as you see here there's all the parts after cleaning that's not a clean break so that told me that it wasn't an overspeed issue that it was a lack of oil issue and there's all the scoring on the piston and the cylinder wasn't in better shape either I hope you all enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you'll never miss a video. Um, now that things have slowed down a lot at my shop since it is the off season, I'm able to record more now that I have fewer customers coming in to the shop. But anyways, I hope you'll enjoyed this time lapse. Um, it's the easiest way that I can record these videos for y'all is by just doing a time lapse. Anyways, hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.